Let's integrate some data into our data warehouse using AWS Glue. I'm going to create a visual job. And today I'm going to use the Amazon Redshift data source and show you some of its capabilities. So here's my Amazon Redshift data. I'm going to apply a simple set of transformations to it. And then for the sake of the demonstration, I'm also going to write to Amazon Redshift as well. So I'm going to pick it as a target. Now, this is not a common way of using this. You would normally mix and match data from different sources here, but this will hopefully make it easy to demonstrate the capabilities. So here I'm going to browse my Redshift connections. I'm going to select my schema, and then I can directly browse the tables to update my data with. So I'm going to read from this user updates table, and I'm going to write to that users table. This will automatically populate the output schema and convert from Redshift data types into the runtime of AWS Glue's data types, make it really easy to work with. So I can do any sort of transformation. Maybe I want to drop a column. Maybe I want to change the data type in my runtime. And then I'm going to write my data out just to show the example. Now, this is a really easy way to get started, but you can also use a custom query to select your data. And here we have a quick link to open the Redshift query editor where I can look at the different SQL options that I have here. I can write and work on my query, get it to use an inner join, maybe use a subquery. And once I have what I want, I can copy it and then return to the previous place and paste it. And we have this infer schema button, which will do the same thing that we did on the other side, where I can check the output and make sure all my data types are good and then work with it in the rest of my job. Then when I'm ready, I can write my data out. And of course, here I can visually join in data from other sources. It doesn't all have to be Redshift. And when I'm ready, I will write to my connection, pick my same schema, and then I can either type in a new table, something like this, which is really easy, and then run my job. And then I can pick the handling of multiple runs of this job. So say I want to schedule this, I can have it append data to my new table, uh, truncate my table and insert into it or drop it once it runs multiple times. But I want to actually update an existing table. So I'm going to pick this user's table. And to show you this new capability merge, I can click merge. And this will let me match on a key in both tables. So I have user ID in both tables. And when matched, I want to update. And when not matched, I want to insert. Now, this is a really common way of using merge, but say I want to do something a little more advanced. I can click custom merge statement, and here I can customize the match condition. So for example, maybe I want to match on user ID, but I also want to match on some other status, like status is closed or something like that. And I can also set which columns will be updated, and I don't have to use all of them. And I can even delete rows in the match condition if I really wanted to. And same thing on the insert side. I can choose to insert as well. So very easy to work with in this UI. Once I have what I want, and I'm going to go back to my simple merge, since that's what I was kind of aiming to do, um, I can also do more advanced things here with custom Redshift parameters. So if I have a specific Redshift functionality I want to use, such as a KMS key or something to encrypt my data, I can just add a parameter and a key value right here um, to easily configure that here on the visual UI. Now, with anything in visual ETL in AWS Glue, we expose everything for our data engineers as well. So this is the kind of code that we generate behind the scenes, and you can work with this in our interactive notebooks. You'll see that all of the different queries capabilities, as well as the source capabilities are available here on this simple Amazon Redshift node. And the same thing is true on the target. We introduce this pre-actions to do things ahead of running an insert. We let you choose the table to insert into. So here's my temp table. And then we let you do post actions, which is where my merge statement was gonna run. So if you're into that, you can actually write your own custom SQL here as well and extend it further that way too. This was a quick flyover of how to work with Amazon Redshift and data warehousing within AWS Glue. We're excited to see all of the great data integration jobs that you'll be authoring soon. Thanks.